Hi, happy you're here. Get comfy and let's get started. Sit at my grave, season two, reflections, chapter 21. Arden looked up, examining the tall building before him, before scoffing. I bet it looked small inside, Arden said. Gallon couldn't tell if he was just unimpressed or trying to make him not feel as nervous as he was. His friend being gone, and not just a quick drive away anymore, weighed on him. His best friend, the one he had throughout school and everything else. After today, he wouldn't be able to freely see him anymore. The fact was setting in the closer they got to the place. Arden felt the car park and swallowed stiffly. He'd be saying goodbye soon. Should he say he'd miss him? Gallon would know he would miss him, right? They were together too often to not miss each other. Well, come on, let's go take a look inside. Clay announced getting out of the car. He went around opening the door for his wife, both returning a smile to one another. She took his hand and stepped out before closing the door behind her. The leaves are so pretty! Look at the flowers! Gallon, look how big the windows are! They're bigger than me! Genevieve bubbled, bouncing up and down. The place is pretty neat, huh? Gallon smiled, looking up at it. Other families around them were flooding in, dropping off their kids. Some already leaving with tearful goodbyes. Arden and the McKinney started up the pathway, heading to the large doors of the place, having to dodge a few others as they walked. Cool air blew on them as they crunched leaves under their shoes. Oh my goodness, it's even nicer inside! This is a good pick, sweetie! Genesis exclaimed as they walked inside the place. It was spacious besides the people already inside carrying their suitcases. Most of the floor was wood with a shiny finish across it, but first walking in was a plush carpet strip leading straight across the room to the next one. On one side of the wall by a desk, there was a map of the school framed, along with many maps and holders to take. Should we go on a tour? The claim question. Mama, are you sure this isn't a castle? Genevieve asked, looking around again, her eyes wide and shiny. I'm sure, dear. Come on, let's look around. Genesis giggled. She grabbed her hand, keeping her close. Gallon walked over with the stash, showing his college ID to one of the workers staying there, greeting everyone. The claim grabbed a map and flipped down it, verifying who they were. Good to go? Genesis asked, smiling. Yep, let's get a move on. Where to first, Gallon? The claim asked. Dang, this place is crowded. Carter mentioned, shoving his hands in his pockets. Maybe we should see some of the classrooms? I'm sure I'll be lost in my first few weeks. Gallon laughed nervously. I don't blame you, boy. Goodness! I hope we remember how to get out, or else we're going to be going to college with you. Claim jokes, looking around. Soon the family started moving across the place, using the map to get to the massive classrooms where other students were already there checking them out. Some classes even required going upstairs. As they continued traveling through, going from there to a big cafeteria, Gallon slowly positioned himself next to Arden once again, after talking with his family for the majority of the time. They were all together throughout the place, until the claim finally insisted on going down to bring some Gallon's boxes in. Genesis left out with them, intent on getting more information about where she was sending her baby to, while Genevieve offered to stay with Gallon and Arden. Before her parents left, Genesis gave over her phone to her so she could take some pictures and hopefully not bother Gallon too much. Man, this makes our old school tiny, huh? Gallon gasped quietly to Arden. Yeah, I'm still surprised you're going. Part remark. Gallon glanced at him while he walked. If I'm being honest, I didn't think I'd be this jittery about it. Gallon whispered with an airy laugh. Arden frowned. Remember vaguely Gallon telling him he was nervous before? He seemed so sure of himself talking to his dad in the car about it. Think you're gonna make it? Arden joked. I have to. I'm here now. Gallon laughed. Arthur off telling him he could just drop out. He held his tongue about it. There was no way someone like Gallon would just drop out of school. He was too much of a committed person. If he said he was gonna do something, Arden always knew him to do it. No reason to be afraid. It's just a school. If you've been to one, you've basically been to all of them. Annoying assignments, teachers who don't really know anything, and students who suck. Martin told him, just with his hand. Gallon laughed, shaking his head at him. I'll be sure to remember that, Gallon told him. I think we're almost to my room, though. Man, the first night staying here is gonna be weird, Gallon sighed. Weird. If this room is anything like the rest of the place, it's probably nice, Martin told him. Nice? Aha, so you do like the place, Gallon smirked. Well, the building itself is nice, I guess. 
I don't know why you're so afraid of it. You want to come here. Arden shrugged. Yeah, but... Jenny, this way. Gotta stop the save, making sure Jennifer was wrong in the corner with them. As she was getting absorbed looking at the phone in her hands. Okay, she said, skipping over with them. She grabbed a fistful of Gala's shirt while she kept her gaze down on the phone once again. Sometimes you have to do scary things to get to what you really want, you know? Gala explained. Arden went silent. Her steps along with the quiet chatter from others and Genevieve humming filled the quiet space for a moment. Well, you know, like you said, it's easier to face things with a friend. Arden repeated back to Gala, trying to offer him some type of comfort. Guards of his feeling like it was a bad idea. Gallon's shoulders slumped a little, gaze shifting down. Yeah, true, but the thing is, the school might be kind of like our old one in a lot of ways, but the major difference is that I won't have my friend with me. Reply. Arden opened his mouth to speak, but quickly shut it looking away. You'd still have your friend if you just stayed, or I thought with a sullen attitude. However, he knew that wasn't entirely true. If he was going in the right direction with the studies like he thought, he might be on his way out of their city too. Hopefully it'll be soon. Art anticipated. Gallon, I'm tired. Chevy whined, tugging on his shirt. Gallon smiled, getting out of his mini standstill with Arden. Oops, did someone call for the elevator? Gallon questioned in a goofy tone. Arden rolled his eyes a little while Gallon made his sister laugh. He reached down, holding her. Going up, ma'am? He asked her. Yeah, yeah, all the way up. Jeffy yelled, giggling. Okay. Gallon agreed, grinning as he hoisted her up in the air above his head. Not this high. Jeffy playfully scolded him. That's all the way up, ma'am. Are you sure? Gallon questioned. One floor down, please. She beamed, pointing one finger towards him. Okay, how's this? Gallon asked, carrying her right next to him. Perfect. Jeffy approved, hugging him. You weren't tired. You just wanted a hug. He accused her, making her laugh again. Nuh-uh, she protested, still hugging him. It's okay, I can use a hug too. Gallon confessed, hugging her back. There it is, that one right there. Gallon said, going towards his room with Arda, still holding Genevieve in his arms, clearly dropping their previous conversation. Got my own key and everything. Gallon winked, tapping his key against Arda's necklace. Arda gave him an awkward smile, trying to keep his focus on the door in front of them. Think you have a roommate? Arda questioned. I'm not sure, they never mentioned it. I hope I do though, being alone in here would be kind of strange. Gal mentioned as he unlocked the door, the bit of difficulty due to Genevieve excitedly moving around wanting to see the room. There you kids are! They heard Genesis call as she walked up with the claim and three other men. Right there, you can drop off the suitcases in front. Thank you so much, such kind young men. Your mothers must be so proud, but you know, if they aren't, I am and I'm a mother, so it's kind of the same thing. Genesis blathered on as the guy sat down with Gallon's suitcases. Mom! Gallon was pretty out looking at her. The claim shared a look with him and shrugged. Happy to help, ma'am. One of them replied awkwardly. Oh, you're just too kind. Here, ten dollars for each of you. It's not much, but I'm not your personal ATM, you know. But don't let anyone work you for nothing, got it? Genesis blathered on happily. Honey, I think these fellows might have something to do. The claim reminded her, seeing them stand around. Huh? Oh, I'm not keeping them here. I was trying to save your back anyhow by asking them to help. Genesis told him, shaking her head. He always lifts too much. He's not an ox, I tell him. He's a man. My man, though. Such a kind guy, always doing too much. She continued, giggling before kissing the clean's cheek, making him shake his head. Still smiling, though. Yeah, thanks, fellas. Clean called after the boys once they finally were able to leave. He turned back to Gallon, grabbing him on the shoulder. Looks like you already brought up some precious cargo. He smiled, softly patting Genevieve's head. Dad! She cheered, reaching over to climb herself into his arms. He held her, hugging her right away as he laughed. Hey, you stole my little buddy! Gallon complained with a smirk. I'm not stolen, Gallon! Genevieve quickly told him, reaching over to him instead. Sweetie, quit hopping to your dad and brother like a jungle gym. Genesis giggled. Suddenly she reached to her too. Oh, how can I say no? Genesis sighed. She walked over, hugging both her kids at once, kissing Gallon's cheek and Genevieve on the forehead. Don't move, Clay said quickly, as he took out his phone taking a picture of his family. Perfect, he smiled. Almost, we need you here too, honey. Genesis just him over, tilting her head. Ours about to reach towards the phone. When Declan spoke up. Oh, uh, excuse me, he waved over a staff member. 
Sorry to bother you, but can you take a picture of me and my family? Yes. Sure thing, she responded, grabbing the phone, backing up to take it. Come on, Arden. Gallon waved at him, seeing Arden had gotten out of the way, putting his hat down to stare at his phone. Huh? Arden questioned. Baby, you know you need to be in this picture, Genesis said warmly. Arden paused for a moment, taking it back. He put his phone away and slinked over, hand in his pocket now as he still put the candies. My boys, McLean breathed out happily, putting a hand on Arden's and Gallon's shoulders, a smile stretching across his face. The family got in close, getting a few pictures snapped. Arden's mind drifted as he stood there for the camera. The candies were very inviting, but he still felt off being here with them like this. It just made him think of his actual family and their old photos together. Arden's gaze drifted to Genevieve. She was smiling so hard, you could see it in her eyes. She felt so loved by her family, so blissfully unaware of anything cruel in the world, only the peace her family gave her. It just made Arden think of himself, how naive he had been. There was no telling what ugly truths were happening, back when he used to smile like that.